right, good morning everybody. Um, so this is going to be a tutorial about how to add Bluetooth to your Pontiac radio. This got pretty popular when I posted mine in the group, so I figured I could do a little tutorial for everybody. Um, I am outside, so there might be a little extra background noise. This is my first tutorial ever doing something like this, so bear with me. Might be a little sloppy, but I'll do the best I can. Um, so as far as you, can, as you can see, I've taken the radio. This is just a junk radio that I found. Um, so just take yours out of your car. It's pretty simple. Um, to disassemble, there's a bunch of screws that look like this. They just come out, and you just take them out uh, along the sides, the edges of the speaker, and they will pop right out. Uh, this is kind of a junk one that I don't plan on ever trying to get refurbished or anything like that so I am taking all the guts out but I'm going to show you what I did with if you want to keep your guts in the radio and have any plans to maybe get it refurbished on the line that way you're not actually doing any type of damage. This is the board that I bought from Amazon. It's pretty simple. Um, here is all, this is basically everything I used over here. So you have speaker, positive ground, speaker, positive ground, and in the middle is where you use your power source, positive ground. Um, I'll leave a, I'll try to do it, I'll try to link the product. I did it once already, but I'll do it again. That way you know which one I'm using for, um, for this tutorial exercise. All right, so after you get everything taken apart to get the, uh, the covers off, the first thing you need to do is find where the power wire goes into. Um, on the side, that is the wire that goes to the power to your car. That's what turns it on. So I'll get, you know, I'll tell you how to wire that up later. But it goes into, I don't, let me zoom in over here. If you can see in the back there, this one right here, that's where that wire goes into. And then it, it, it seems like it powers the entire case. And then there's another jump off point right here. And that curly wire goes into the back of the switch. Now, this is how I wired mine up. So I just cut the wire, or I cut the power from this. And I use that and I splice into the power to the board. So whenever you turn the power switch on the car, it'll turn the power onto the board. Um, I'll see if I can get a better angle into the back of where it goes into the switch. All right. So on the back of the wire, it runs up from the back of the switch, up and around, and it's this wire right here. Um, it might be a little different on your radio. I know on my 50, the one that I pulled out of my car, the wire ran from the back of the switch up to here. It went in front and not back, and I didn't have this little, I don't know what that is, capacitor or maybe or resistor of some sort. So, but anyways, what you wanna do is you wanna cut this wire, which is the power wire to the rest of the radio. So you want to cut that and then you'll splice in a new wire and you'll run that to the power side of the board. All right, so this is how it's supposed to be wired up for power and uh, ground. As you can see back there, I've got it crimped onto a power wire to the board running from the power to the switch. And then on a the ground, all you gotta do is just wire up a ground wire and then stick it somewhere on the casing that you can find. Usually there is a free screw or bolt that you can put some type of eye connector on there and then just hammer it down. I mean, it's just a ground wire, pretty simple. Um, as far as instructions go, there is a little diagram on the instructions to show you how to wire up for speakers. Um, this is what I'm doing right here. So in the middle, there is your power DC voltage. Um, it could take up to 27 volts, you know, so it's plenty for our cars if you're running 12 volt and 6 volt. Um, and then here's a speaker left and speaker right if you wanted to do. I, there's only one speaker on here, so I'm going to show you how uh, I did it. I just bought a cheap speaker from AutoZone. I think it was like $17. Uh, let me go get that and I will show you what I did. All right, so here's a speaker. Um, it's just a six by nine stereo speaker, real cheap. Um, this is the box it came in, if you can see that. Um, speaker dual cone, there's the brand. 
Uh, like I said, I picked it up from AutoZone. I think it was like $17. Um, it does come with new mounting hardware, but I found out that these don't really work that well, so I just went down to the my local hardware store. I took one of the original mounting bolts that went to the speaker, and then I just got something a little bit longer with a washer because this will be... Um, this will be longer. There will be a little bit more of a gap from the original speaker so this should be this is plenty long enough to fit in that hole and still mount to the uh, plate uh, as far as wiring it up it's pretty simple just flip it over you got a positive and ground doesn't really matter which one is which um, and then I'll show you how to wire how I wired that up to the board all right so here it is wired up uh, as you can tell um, really you probably want to use a red wire for your power or no black wire for ground but this is pretty quick and I don't have any red wire available um, but I use two different types of uh, connectors and all you do is you just slide on to these ends over here um, and then you just wire them up into these ports right up in there and that's pretty much it for the wiring um, on mine I made a little plate out of metal I just folded one end over here and folded another end over there and I placed it on top of this uh, I'm not entirely sure what that is part really um, and it fits just fine in there and then you can just glue or well, not glue but you could probably um, the kit comes with some types of like these screws and plates and stuff so you can finagle it the way you want onto there um, and then that way it'll sit right in there now yeah my wires are coming off this pretty like I said pretty simple and really fast <laughs> Um, for the speaker itself, it's probably going to have a hard time fitting in there with all that junk. Um, if you had no plans to refurbish your your um, radio, then all that can come out and this speaker will fit just fine in there. But if you want to keep all of that in there and still use the speaker you're going to have to cut a lot of this framing out. What I did was basically follow these lines like that and just kind of made it look like the original speaker the best I can. As you can see on the original speaker, hold on just a sec, it has kind of like those four webbings on it. That, 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 and that. And the best way I found out that is if you try to mimic that pattern onto this, it fits in there pretty good. You won't have any issues. Um, you'll have to cut a little bit of this off too. I kind of went just straight along that line right there and cut that out. Um, but yeah, like I said, you're going to have to do some type of fabrication on that speaker if you want to get to fit. If you can find an original speaker or a speaker that's along the lines of the original that have the same type of framing, then I would probably do that. It'd be a lot easier that way you're not risking ruining the speaker or anything like that. I'm not entirely sure where you find one. It's just a 6x9 speaker, so any 6x9 will work. You just have to get it a matter of fitting it in there. And then, let's see here. I'm going to show you how I powered my, so this wire right here is the power to the speaker. All I did was I like cut this a little bit, cleaned it up because all these little raggedy ends and stuff. And then I just used another, I used a, like a, like a butt connector and I connected one end here and then on my power, my, not my constant power, but my ignition power, I believe from my car. I can't remember what the wire is, but you can probably figure it out. Just run a power wire onto the other side of this connector and that's it, but it should work. Um, I can show you in my car what it looks like. Um, this one, I'm actually doing something differently, so I'm not, none of these are really actually connected, but it, I just showed you how I did everything. And if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll help the best I can, but I showed you the board I used, how I wired up the board, what speaker I used, and I kind of 
showed you some troubleshooting areas that I might have, that you might have, that I had. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, after this, I'll just take a video of what it looks like in my car and how it turns on, and that'll be it. Thanks.